So this is a video I'm making to show a size comparison between the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTAS X in front and the Thrustmaster 1600M FCS HOTAS in back. So on the X-Flight, if I have my hand resting on the bottom, my thumb can hit the point of view switch and the buttons and the trigger. And there's also this front button that it can hit as well. On the 1600M, if my hand is resting on the bottom, I can hit the trigger fine and the three buttons, although I can only hit the bottom. And I could move the point of view switch sideways and kind of up and down, but it's definitely a stretch. So most of the time when I'm flying, and I've actually gotten kind of comfortable with this, my hand is about a centimeter off the bottom. So I'm debating seeing if I can maybe put a pad here or something. But for now, I don't fly for long enough because I'm a dad, so I only have a few hours at a time maybe. Um, that flying like this seems to be fine. But it is definitely about a centimeter lower for me to be able to reach the point of view switch comfortably. And now to look at the throttle. So the HOTAS, or the T-Flight X, the HOTAS X, it's got this nice indented curve and in here and the buttons kind of spread so your thumb can hit them all. So this is very comfortable. I can easily reach the paddles on the front and all the buttons and I, I love this button because I can actually use it as a modifier while hitting any of the other buttons. So this button, while cool, doesn't work as a modifier. I might eventually, if I keep this, try and mod it to be over here. Um, but the fact that this has three hat switches is really nice. I can't really use the bottom one though, because see if my hand is up here to reach the paddles, like I cannot physically get my thumb down there comfortably at all. I'm stretching it quite a bit. Whereas back over here on the hot sex, there's a lot of extra room. So I really don't understand the idea behind this, this style change. Why does this curve up? And why does this curve out? Because here it just conforms naturally to your human hand. It curves in and in. It's like a saddle shape. Um, I love this throttle. It feels amazing. I don't, I'm don't. i probably not going to go back. I love on the front it's got this little view thing and it's got some buttons over here and this toggle switch is great for um, different modes, gal map and system map and I use it for hyper jump and super cruise. So I think with the buttons I'm fine. I just kind of ignore this and don't use it. And this I use for the camera. Um, I also use these little furniture things to make a, uh, a throttle detent because that's like a great feature on the HOTUS X. Now this, it kind of has a little indent there. But this is so high, like here I can rest my hand. It's so nice and comfortable, it just slides gently. Whereas this is high up and you can lean forward and you lean back and it's uncomfortable. So I think the HOTAS or, or the, the 16,000 is a much better piece of kit. It's just got a few design choices that I really don't understand where they came from. Um, I'd be curious if anybody has an idea on that. Like does this fit a lot of people's hands better? than this, because I would think this would work for big and small hands, but I might be confused. Um, but yeah, I love I love these switches. This one's kind of useless, but the fact that there are eight positions on each of these and two buttons for my pinky and the paddle and the up-down rocker and this means that I get a lot more control. The only downside is that because I don't have this button over here on the 1600M, I like for long things like long trading routes or something being able to just play with one hand so that I can like hold my kid in the other hand or whatever and I'm going to have a new baby soon so that'll be an issue but I might just rebind it so that I can I can still do super cruise and super jumps with one hand that wouldn't be too hard so I guess I'll be doing that anyways thanks for watching um, I love the 16,000 it's great I'm going to keep it I just, I just need to think about maybe modding it a little bit and doing a magnetic detent that'll be more exact than the little Velcro thing. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.